Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here from you for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about the longevity products or formulations, or skin health questions, if you have questions or comments about our Truth Skin Health products, which are available at truthtreatments.com, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our bone broth protein, please go to brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. You can purchase our bone broth protein as well as our other uh, other unique and unusual products, including our enzyme essence products, bone broth protein, all at brightsidehealth.com. All, of, all the various uh, enzyme essence products are up at, bone, uh, at brightsidehealth.com and also our bone broth protein a rich source of polysaccharides like glucosamine. Actually, you will get cartilage-containing sugars and cartilage-containing proteins and amino acids in our bone broth protein and acetyl glucosamine and chondroitin as well as glycine and amino acids that are important for building cartilage and connective tissue. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with acne blemishes or you want to lighten your skin, there's no better skin lightener than Retinol, folks. And for that matter, there's no better acne topical ingredient that you can use for blemished skin than uh, Retinol. And you'll also get a big old dose of vitamin C in our Truth Retinol 5% Gel and our other Truth products all made with vitamin C, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, oil, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You only pay for what your skin uses in our Truth Skin Health products. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com if you want to find out more. Okay, if you're in the Phoenix area, by the way, next week I'll be doing some talks uh, in uh, Phoenix, Grand Canyon, and in Sun City West, all in the Phoenix area, Monday, October 10th, I'll be at the Prince of Peace Church, 3641 North 56th Street in Phoenix, zip 85018. Tuesday, October 11th, I'll be at the Superstition FMD Station, number 264. I'm not sure what that is exactly. That's at 7557 U.S. 60 Gold Canyon, Arizona, 85118. And then Wednesday at the Sun City West Foundation, 14465 West R.H. Johnson Boulevard. And that's in Sun City West, Arizona. If you're in the Arizona area, hope to see you. Call Rebecca Kozak for more information at 480-842-1888 for more information. That's 480-842-1888. Hope to see you there. All right, so I want to continue talking about NAG, NAG, the medicinal, therapeutic, multifunctional, essential sugar, one of the eight essential sugars. We talked about glucose, uh, we talked about mannose. Glucose is also an essential sugar. Fucose, we're going to talk about that one in a little bit. There's a great longevity product that features fucose that we talk about all the time. We'll talk about that uh, when we finish NAG. If you have leaky gut syndrome, if you have eczema, if you want to speed healing from burns or cuts or post-surgery, you'll want to think about using some NAG. 
NAG is especially important, NAG and acetylglucosamine is especially important for digestive health. Reading from the annals of, uh, actually this is from uh, Elementary Pharmacology and Therapeutics in tests on 10 children with severe Crohn's disease. Researchers found that daily treatment with N-acetylglucosamine led to a significant improvement in symptoms and a decrease in inflammation. Another article, uh, this one 2011 from the Journal of Biological Chemistry showed that N-acetylglucosamine may help suppress the autoimmune response that's involved in multiple sclerosis. In tests on mice, researchers demonstrated that N-acetylglucosamine may help inhibit the growth and function of abnormal cells that, in MS patients, prompt the immune system to break down nervous tissue, myelin specifically. From the Annals of Rheumatic Disease, N-acetylglucosamine can help reduce the inflammation associated with osteoarthritis. And from the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology, N-acetylglucosamine may help promote lightening of the skin when used as an ingredient in skin care products. And acetylglucosamine, folks, is awesome, awesome stuff, and you don't have to be sick to benefit from it. It's just anti-aging, just general anti-aging. This is one of the reasons why cartilage products are so important, our bone broth protein. Seaweed is also a source of uh, NAG, and seaweed gets much of its medicinal and therapeutic properties from its, uh, because it contains NAG as well as other essential sugars. One of my favorite sources of NAG is aloe vera, which is very likely the most important skin health plant. In fact, pretty much all of the so-called essential sugars and glyconutrients are found in the aloe vera plant and using aloe juice on a regular basis, daily basis, internally as well as topically on top of the skin is one of the most powerful health uh, health-inducing protocols, health-inducing strategies that you could ever use. Aloe vera is a source of 75 different active components. That's a lot of stuff. You can tell by looking at the aloe vera plant or the aloe vera gel, if you break open a leaf, you can tell you're dealing with something special. There's not a lot of plants that can boast that kind of substance in their leaf. This is why aloe vera has been called the king of plants. In fact, if you look at an aloe vera plant, it looks like a little crown. It looks like it has the same kind of uh, uh, triangular spikes that a crown would have, and it has been called the king of plants. The inside, when you break open the uh, aloe vera leaf, the inside has this thick, succulent, jelly nature. And that's the indicator of a bunch of polysaccharides, of complex sugars. Remember, one of the main qualities of polysaccharides and complex sugars is their ability to trap water. And that's indeed why they're found in the aloe vera plant. The aloe vera plant is an exquisite water trapping plant. And it traps the water in the leaves, it complexes the water, it structures the water, if you will. And the connection or the relationship, the link between these sugars and water makes the aloe vera plant super duper medicinal. In the food industry, polysaccharides that are found from aloe vera gel have been prized as a source of, uh, a, a source of active ingredients for health drinks and health beverages in the skin health business. Aloe vera gel makes an ideal base for creams and lotions. In fact, in my opinion, aloe vera gel, whether you get it in a liquid, and you buy it in liquid uh, in, the, um, in the health food store, it's called aloe vera gel, by the way, even though it is a liquid, it's not really a gel. Uh, whether you get the aloe vera gel from the liquid or if you get it in the true gel form right out of the leaf, in my opinion, aloe vera gel is one of, if not the most valuable DIY, do-it-yourself ingredients for anyone who wants to make their own skin health products, make their own skin products. It soothes burns. It can be used after exfoliation treatments. If you're a esthetician or cosmetician and you're doing peels in your office, you'd be smart to keep a little aloe vera there, either right out of the plant. You can put it right off the, uh, right, out, uh, right out of the leaf. You could actually just break open a leaf in your salon or in your spa and just put it on your client's skin after a peel. Or you can do it at home after you do your own peel, do your own exfoliation peel. Just break open the leaf, let it react with the oxygen a little bit and then you can rub the leaf right on your uh, the jelly the jelly content inside the leaf right on your skin right on your exfoliated skin really super soothing all right got more to say about aloe vera and and acetylglucosamine we'll take your phone calls as well 844-236-6010 is our number we'll be back right after this okay we 
are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in our next segment, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have comments about uh, anything we're talking about or the longevity products, questions about formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear us talk about or advertise or recommend on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products off the website, and you can also join the Brightside Ben team right off the website for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a business, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, and truly change lives. Join me in my mission to change the world via nutritional supplements, nutritional supplementation, as well as just plain information. A lot of what we do at Longevity is teach. A lot of what we do at Longevity is share. It's not just selling products, although, of course, we've got some pretty amazing nutritional products, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, my all-time favorite nutritional drink, nutritional, uh, nutritional, I'd say it's my all-time favorite nutritional product in general as I sip on it here this morning. Use your BTT first thing in the morning, sip on it all day long. Some folks like doing one or one scoop or even two scoops all at once, I, I recommend that you di- uh, put a little bit in water and, and uh, sip on it all day long. That way you get a nice steady state release of your nutrients. But whatever you do, make sure you're using some of it every day. And you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Or you can also call 866-735-2470 for more information. Okay, so before we went to break, we're talking about some DIY, do-it-yourself strategies, do-it-yourself protocols for making skincare products. Just breaking the leaf open is a great skincare. I'm a minimalist when it comes to skincare. I'm a, that's why I formulated the truth. I'm a minimalist. I don't like to have a lot of products. I don't like a lot of different types of products, toners and exfoliators and cleansers and moisturizers. All you should have is one or two or maybe three products that should take care of everything. Take care of all your needs. And aloe vera is an incredibly, incredibly multifunctional, topical, active ingredient. Just the leaf itself. Break open the leaf. Put it right on your skin as a moisturizer. Put it right on your skin after you exfoliate. Put it right on your skin if you were to get a sunburn. Mix it with a little lemon juice. Put it right on your skin uh, for um, lightening the skin. Or you can get a little glycolic acid. There's actually natural alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids. Aloe vera is a source of salicylic acid, which makes it uh, very effective as a topical for treating acne. Use it as a base. Mix it up with a little alcohol and you get to have it, uh, you can make yourself a nice toner. Grain, make it say a 90% aloe vera juice, 10% grain alcohol blend or 20% if you like. Uh, if you want a little bit more alcohol, if your skin tends to be oilier, 80, 20, 90, 10, something like that. Aloe vera to grain alcohol, it makes a great toner. You can dab it on a blemish. The salicylic acid will help break up the blemish and help accelerate healing. You can blend up, uh, blend the leaf up in water. Maybe put a touch of green alcohol in there for an aftershave. You could put in, uh, blend in some aloe vera gel with uh, with coconut oil. Make a nice makeup remover and facial cleanser. If your skin is drier, you add some more coconut oil. If your skin is not quite as dry, you can uh, back down on the coconut oil, or you can just use the aloe by itself for that matter. If you want suds. Mix in a little bit of uh, yucca or soap water. It's hard to get good suds in a, in a gentle fashion. Suds, we're all conditioned to like foam and to like suds, but you know what? They're not that good for your skin. If you can get away without suds or foam for cleansing, and aloe vera and coconut oil will allow you to do that, that's really the way to go. Suds are really not good for your skin. And by the way, do you know a lot of sudsing agents come from coconut oil? Processed coconut oil. The, uh, the famous and much maligned sodium laurel sulfate is extracted from coconut, at least partially. Sodium lauryl sulfate is a combination of sodium sodium sulfate, which is a form of sulfur that's found in rocks and minerals, and and, uh, lauric acid, which is a fatty acid that's found in coconut. That's why sometimes you'll hear that sodium lauryl sulfate is derived from coconut. It is not derived from coconut, although it does contain uh, a fat that's derived from coconut. Surface active agents are not great for your skin, and that's why sodium lauryl sulfate gets such a bad rap. It's not like sodium lauryl sulfate is especially bad. Any surface active agent, foaming agent, is going to have some. It's, it's, 
it may cause some problems. I'm not going to say it's going to cause problems, but it may cause problems. Any foaming or sudsing agent. If you want foam or suds in a DIY fashion, there isn't a lot of natural substances that have foam or suds because foaming and sudsing are, are achieved by compounds called saponins. And those are typically found in very tiny quantities in plants, with the exception of yucca and soapwort, both of which contain more substantial saponins. You notice the word saponin sounds like soap. Saponins are soap-like compounds that are found in plants. And, and, yucca, and so, yucca and soapwort probably have the most saponins, the most foaming saponins of any herb, any herb I know. And you can mix a little bit of yucca and soapwort. You can get them on the, uh, off the Internet or you can get them in a health food store or herb store. Uh, yucca or soapwort, crush them up in a coffee grinder and then add them to your aloe and, and uh, uh, coconut oil blend, if you like, and let it steep. I would add them to the aloe first, actually and then let it steep for a couple of days and then strain it out and then uh, and then add your coconut oil and you're going to have yourself a nice little makeup remover that will have just a little bit of suds. It won't have a lot of suds, but it will have just a little bit of suds. So many things you could do with this stuff uh, with aloe vera. It really is it really is quite amazing. Aloe vera has transdermal properties, so it can improve the penetration of active materials. It lends itself to mask making really effectively. If you beat some aloe with egg white, maybe one egg white to four or five tablespoons full of aloe, you can make a nice healing mask for treating eczema or acne. The salicylic acid will give you a nice smooth finish to your skin. You can add in some tea tree oil if you want some medicinal properties, or maybe some green tea or chamomile if you want some more soothing properties. Aloe vera, it will, because of its transdermal properties, anything you put in your mask will penetrate deeper into the skin if you use an aloe vera base. Vitamins included, vitamin C. Vitamin E, you can just squeeze in a little vitamin E capsules, a little vitamin A capsules. You can add aloe to your BTT in the morning. Add just a splash of aloe vera or more if you don't mind. The, it has a kind of tart taste to it, but if you don't mind the tart taste, you can add a, a tablespoon or two tablespoons or more into your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And because of its ability to improve the penetration of substances, because of its ability to improve the penetration of nutrients through the skin and through the digestive tract, you're going to up the, probably significantly up the nutritional value of your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And of course, the aloe vera plant has wonderful nutritional compounds aside from the polysaccharides, aside from the NAG. It's got digestive enzymes in it. Use a little with your meals. Use a little before your meals. It has uh, protective nutrients, sun, uh, specifically for the sun, things like carotenes, flavonoids, specifically flavonoids. It's got digestive enzymes. It's got minerals. Uh, calcium, zinc, chromium, copper, iron, magnesium, potassium. It's got fatty acids, including the very hard to find gamma linoleic acid, which is GLA. GLA is wonderful for women who are having menstrual problems. GLA is a great skin, a topical skin, uh, uh, skin ingredient, and you don't find it in a lot of natural sources. Aloe vera is probably the best way to get GLA topically in your skin if you want to use a natural, if you want to use a natural strategy, if you don't want to go the cream or or lotion or produce product route. It's got B vitamins, it's got amino acids for supporting bone health and cartilage health, and of course it's got the complex sugars, uh, including N-acetylglucosamine. There's a really neat topical active ingredient that many women are using, and it's a sort, it's a type of N-acetylglucosamine. I'll tell you about that when we come back. Pro Pure. Back on the bright side, got lines open at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions, comments, if you'd like information about the longevity products or our Truth Skin Health formulations, truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com for our retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm. If you want one product, if you looked at the website and you say, well, I just want to try one product, look at the Truth Serum. That's the most multifunctional and... That's my favorite of the four, I'd have to say. I mean, they're all good, but that, that's my favorite of the four. I use cholesterol in that one, interestingly. A lot of folks have a negative feeling about cholesterol because of the meme that's been created for the last 30 plus years about how you gotta stay away from cholesterol and cholesterol's the bad guy. I've said it many times on this program, I'll say it again. The, arguably the single most important 
compound. I don't even know if you could argue it. The single most important compound in the body is cholesterol. It's particul particularly important for the skin. It's particularly important for skin health, for moisturizing, for accelerated healing. And you don't see it in skincare products a lot. Uh, I'm fascinated with this molecule and I put it in my truth serum for that reason. It's also in our omega-6 healing cream for its healing properties. Cholesterol is really topical cholesterol. It's got some neat benefits. Of course, vitamin D is a form of cholesterol and vitamin D is stored in the skin. If you want one product, if you're looking at the website and you want to try one product, get the Truth Serum. If you want a second product, depending on your needs, get the retinol gel or the Truth Balm. If you want uh, anti, more anti-aging or if you're breaking out, um, you might want the, or if you want to lighten your skin, you probably want the retinol 5% gel. If you have more normal skin type, uh, regular healthy skin, perhaps aging, use the Truth Balm. And that's all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to talk about this really, really important active ingredient that you hear, hear a lot about. When I started working with this active ingredient 30 years ago, or, or yeah, about 30 years ago now, uh, when I was working for the Blistex Corporation, nobody really knew what this stuff was, but I was always fascinated with it because it's got some really interesting properties for healing and for the skin in particular. It's stored in the skin. It's called high aluronic acid. I know if you're a skincare junkie like I am, uh, you know about or you've heard about high aluronic acid 30 years ago. That was not the case. I started working with it and experimenting with it back then. And I use it in uh, cleansing products. When I'm making a cleanser, I like to use high aluronic acid. I'll tell you why uh, tomorrow when we're talking about this really interesting ingredient. What high aluronic acid will not really help you with is if it's in a topical product as a moisturizer. This is a silly use of a very important active ingredient. Now, you will get a little skin surface softening effects from hyaluronic acid. And if you put hyaluronic acid right on top of your skin, it will feel a little bit softer or retexturized, but you're not going to do anything, nothing for the health of your skin by applying it uh, topically in, an, in, in a uh, lotion or cream. You may get a little bit of softening, but don't be bamboozled by the, uh, uh, by the collapsing of two separate ideas. One is the very important and powerful and functional and therapeutic and healing properties of hyaluronic acid when it's taken internally versus the very negligible and superficial and hardly noticeable effects that you'll get when you use it topically. Now, topically, you will get some, they call it plasticizing effects. That means the surface will be softened a little bit. But if you want to use hyaluronic acid uh, topically or in a topical product, the best place is going to be a cleanser. Why? Because as you're washing your face with water, the hyaluronic acid will stay on the surface of the skin, and the water that you're washing your face with will actually uh, adhere a little bit more effectively to the skin. It'll take some of the drying effects or mitigate some of the drying effects from cleanser. So I like using hyaluronic acid in cleansers. So what does hyaluronic acid have to do with aloe vera? What does it have to do with N-acetylglucosamine? What does it have to do with glucosamine in general and polysaccharides and sugars? We'll talk about that tomorrow, but I will tell you that the best way to bump up your hyaluronic acid and aim to make more hyaluronic acid is to use N-acetylglucosamine and foods and substances that contain N-acetylglucosamine, and we will talk about that tomorrow on the bright side. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number from the Alzheimer's Research Institute of the UK. Recorded deaths from dementia more than double in 13 years. This is astounding. Now, when you read the article, it's not exactly that the deaths are from dementia, but the, the figures, according to this article, uh, quote, show the proportion of people dying with a diagnosis of dementia more than doubled in 13 years. It doesn't mean deaths from dementia, but it means that people dying while they have di dementia, has, uh, the incidence has doubled in 13 years. That's 13 years. We're talking 2003. We're talking post 9-11. That's not a long time ago, folks, and recorded deaths from dementia have doubled. And I predict it's going to get worse. According to the World Health Organization, some 50 million people are going to have the disease around the world uh, in the not too distant future. Folks, Alzheimer's disease is nothing more than arthritis of the brain. 
It's just an inflammatory deterioration of the brain. And the medical model has us chasing these protein tangles and tau proteins and amyloid plaques and f fibers and all of the reasons that they say cause Alzheimer's disease are nothing more than secondary. They are not the primary problem. When you have Alzheimer's disease, you got a brain that is decaying. And given the fact that the brain is burning through nutrients and burning through oxygen, throughout the day faster than any other system of the body, it makes sense that under conditions of nutritional deficiency, under the standard conditions of nutritional deficiency that we all live under and live with, it makes sense that Alzheimer's disease incidents would be increasing. Today we call, uh, savvy researchers know that Alzheimer's disease is type three diabetes. Everything is type three diabetes. Because diabetes, or more, more accurately, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, dys meaning messed up, gly glycemia meaning blood sugar, dysglycemia underlies everything. And before that, a messed up digestive tract underlies everything. This is why you read every couple of weeks, Parkinson's disease, now associated, to be, uh, now associated with diet, Alzheimer's disease, linked to diet, cancer, linked to diet. Food and digestion primary, blood sugar secondary, and everything else follows that. And you know what? It all comes down to one thing, really. This is the one thing you got to know about chronic long-term degenerative disease, dirty blood. That's everything, folks, dirty blood. When I say dirty blood, I'm talking about sugar. That's a dirt. That's a toxin. And I'm talking about food particles. That means that's, this is the digestive and blood sugar link to all disease. It comes through, through the blood. The blood is the bridge. You've got digestive, digestive issues and you've got blood sugar issues. And both of those are really nothing more than, or, or they're, they're the problems that are caused by these two, two uh, aspects, sugar aspects and digestive aspects, are nothing more than dirty blood. It is dirty blood that is the link. The problem associated with, with uh, digestive tract issues, food issues, and dysglycemia is dirty blood. Once you get dirty blood, you activate the emergency nervous system, the sympathetic nervous system. When that dirty blood, and that's because dirty blood does not deliver nutrients, dirty blood does not deliver oxygen, and dirty blood does not uh, remove toxins as effectively. Dirty blood also... Dirty blood also prevents the movement of blood. As blood is circulating, it's supposed to generate an electrical charge. When the blood is thick and sludgy and dirty with sugar and digestive toxins, it doesn't generate an electrical charge as effectively. It's all dirty blood. If you want just one culprit, there you go. Clean the blood. I'll talk, we'll, we'll finish this up when we come back from our break. And if you're on hold, I'll get to you. As soon as we come back, I'll get to you. Uh, I'll get to you. 844 Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. Dirty blood, dirty blood, dirty blood. That's what it all is about. The blood becomes dirty from sugar and from digestive toxicity. Lack of oxygen compounds the problem. As the blood becomes sludgier, it becomes less able to deliver nutrients and oxygen and detoxify the body. This causes cell death. All of this leads to an activated emergency nervous system and you get a vicious downward spiral as the digestive system shuts down and the blood becomes more dirty and the blood sugar system becomes more messed up and cortisol and adrenal stress uh, uh, issues compound and you get this vicious downward spiral. That's disease, folks. And there's nothing in there that says doctor. There's nothing in there that says drugs. And if you can show me one more aspect of the disease process that is not secondary, that's primary, I want to know what that is because there ain't. I, I've been doing this a long time and I can't figure out anything that's more fundamental or more basic to the nature of chronic degenerative disease than this dirty blood mechanism that starts off with dysglycemia and digestion. What does this mean? If you want to clean the blood, fix the digestive system, stabilize the blood sugar, and that's why we say the same darn thing over and over and over again on this program. And anytime I do a presentation, I'm saying the same thing over and over again. This is such good news if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease. It simplifies everything. Fix the gut and stabilize the sugar, and make sure you're breathing correctly and calming the body down. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Marissa in Michigan, welcome to The Bright Side. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? What's going on this morning? Okay, well, I've had, in the last four years, I've had, like, a lot of different things going on. Okay. Um, I had like a lot of digestion issues. Um, they told me that I, I had a lot of fatigue. 
and through a lot of blood work, they um, saw I had ovarian cysts, and then um, they were concerned about my bilirubin being really high, so they sent me to um, the U of M to check over my liver, and they said everything was fine, my bilirubin's high because I have Gilbert's disease. It's excuse hereditary. Me I, excuse me while I yeah. laugh sarcastically here. Uh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Gilbert's disease. Now you have Gilbert's disease, yeah. right? Did you get a T-shirt that said, I have Gilbert's no, disease? No Bumper sticker? A little hat. Did they give you a hat? No, now, they didn't. You got Gilbert's disease. Now you can, that's, that's you now. I have Gilbert's disease. This is so insidious. This is so mean spirit. Listen, Marissa, did you hear me talk? I was talking to you. I didn't know you were on the line. I know what you're going to ask, but I was talking to you when I was just talking about uh, the, all, the cause of everything. Chronic fatigue, ovarian cysts, elevated bilirubin, by the way, for the listeners, that's a sign of uh, that the liver is, is messed up. Uh, and then, uh, uh, I don't, what else did you say here? I think that was everything. I don't know what I missed. Uh, all of this memory. is memory. Okay, okay, uh, fine. Gilbert's disease is liver disease, period. It doesn't, you could call it Joe's disease. You could call it Sam's disease. They named it after this doctor. He saw it. It's liver disease. Everybody has liver disease. Not quite everybody. One out of three of us. All right? Maybe more. Mm -hmm. So join the crowd. It's not Gilbert's disease. It's a messed up liver. Do you see the difference? If it's Gilbert's disease, you get a baseball hat and you get a protocol that comes from a book that some doctor mm. looks up and you get plugged into the computer and they know, how, to tr they know how, to, how much to charge you at the insurance company. That's why they call it Gilbert's disease. If you say it's just a generic liver issue for, caused by uh, the same fundamental problem that causes everything, you don't get a baseball hat or t-shirt. You can't be put into a protocol. You can't be put into the computer. They don't know what to do with you. So they call it Gilbert's mm -hmm. syndrome or Gilbert's disease. It's just mm -hmm. a messed up liver. The liver is a digestive organ. It's, of course, you're going to have, and on top of that, the liver processes sugar. So the liver is the nexus for the two basic fundamental problems associated with, uh, uh, associated with chronic degenerative disease, which is what you have. So what do you want to do? Number one, Marissa, this is so important. I think I've spoken to you before. Your voice sounds familiar. So here's the deal. I'm sure I told you about the digestive connection. Guaranteed, 100%. I'll bet the house that you have, that you know you have a digestive issue. That you bloat or oh, you have yeah. gas or, uh, hello? What'd you say? Acid reflux. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not psychic, it. Ben, I'm just a pharmacist. But this is how it works. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I could psychically tell you everything that's wrong with you. I could do a whole psychic workup on you and charge you money as a psychic. But I'm not a psychic, I'm just a pharmacist. The body breaks down generically. So digestive issues started the whole thing. And Marissa, here's another piece of, of psychic information. You've had digestive problems a long time, a long time, very likely since you were a kid. Because for this kind of disease to show up, at the, all of these symptoms to show up, and you sound like you're in your 40s or 50s, that's, that's way too early. These are diseases of major deterioration, or symptoms of major deterioration of the body. Work on the gut. You gotta start, you gotta stop eating for two or three days. You'll immediately feel better, okay? When you stop eating, your body goes into starvation mode, and, it's, and all the healing chemistry kicks in. Healing chemistry kicks in when you stop eating. Now, you have to stop eating for a while. You may not want to do that, so you may not get the full benefit, but at least you'll give your digestive system a break. That's the first thing. Then when you start eating, you do a food diary. You write down everything you eat, starting with your favorite foods, and eat as simply as you can so you know what's causing what. You don't want to eat something that has a bunch of working parts to it because you're not going to know what causes the problem. But pick a food, eat it. Watch what happens. Guaranteed you're going to find within the first couple of days foods that you've been eating and foods that you love are causing problems. So you get off of those foods. You eat as little as possible. Once you start you're eating regularly, you eat as little as possible, focusing on liquids, especially anything that's super Soothing for the digestive tract. You follow me? Okay. Aloe vera would be awesome for you. Noni would be awesome for you. Sub, uh, supplementing with NAG would be incredibly important. Bone soup, incredibly important. Anything you could do, uh, the, the Fucoid Z from Longevity. We're going to talk about that one in a few days. Anything you could do to coat and soothe the digestive tract. Glutamine, G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E. I'd be doing four or five grams a day. A teaspoon of glutamine powder every day in a smoothie, a bone broth smoothie, bone broth protein smoothie, I should say. 
You can get that off brightsidehealth.com. Make sure you're using the Healthy Star Pack. I would absolutely make sure I was using zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. Very important for producing acid in the stomach. Very important for healing tissue. Just very important. Uh, you're probably not absorbing vitamins, so you get end up uh, malnutriated, particularly fatty vitamins, I should say. You're probably not absorbing vitamin A, probably not absorbing vitamin E or D or K. All of this is going to cause yeah. more malnutrition and cause more problems. This is where the vicious cycle comes in. Get yourself on all the fatty vitamins, 20,000 IU of vitamin A, 400 IU of vitamin E. I would be using this with the premium stuff if I were you, tocotrienols. Uh, get some sun every day if you can in Michigan. Probably not, but a sun lamp would no. be great for you. <laughs> okay. A sun lamp would be great for you. If you're in a part of the country, by the way, where you don't get sun for six or eight months a year, you might want to invest in a sun lamp. Um, also, uh, uh, vitamin K, very important for calcium metabolism, and you're probably having, having an issue with calcium. So uh, 5,000 micrograms a day, anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 micrograms a day of K. When you start eating again, try to eat organ meats if you can. It's a great source of building substances, building nutrients. You see, I didn't say anything about directly about your chronic fatigue, directly about your ovarian cysts. I just talked to you about the fundamental breakdowns. You follow me? Mm -hmm. All yeah. of this is going to work with the liver disease. Go ketogenic. Avoid the sugar. Go, if you can go ketogenic, that would be awesome for you. Uh, if you. Go back to the archives. We've been talking a lot about the ketogenic diet, the high-fat, low-carb diet. Carbs are not your friend. The only carbs I would be eating if I were you are from vegetables. You do need to have some, but uh, if you go ketogenic, you need very little, and you want them to come from vegetables. Uh, and then I did, uh, the Fucoid Z, I, I said that briefly in passing, but that's very, very healing and very therapeutic. There's so many things you could do, and you can start to feel better almost right away. You can start to feel better within 24 to 48 hours. How cool is that? If you were to do yeah, just I am on the healthy start pack. I am well, on the healthy brain. <laughs> it's all great, but as long as the digestive issues are not, I didn't. That's that's important. You, you want to stay on that. But as you notice, I spent the last five or five or six minutes talking about the digestive tract. Mm -hmm. The livers, that's where your problem is. As long as the body is being assaulted with toxins that are coming in through the intestine, the blood will become dirty, and you're not going to be able to heal. And they're going to call it Gilbert's okay. disease, and you'll get a T-shirt, and you'll get steroids, because okay. there's nothing else they could do. Okay. All so right? should, I stick, should I stay on? Because I, yes. I can't, the osteo... FX, I cannot, that makes me want, feel like I'm going to throw up. I, I can't even. You got bigger fish to fry than the osteo FX. De okay, definitely so stay on that. Do whatever you can do, but your problem is in the gut, my dear. Your problem is in the digestive tract. You do need to have this, the nutrients, but as long as you have that gut problem. Oh, I forgot the nightly essence. Silly me. The nightly essence. Yes, I am Get on that, that also. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, that's super important as well. And then apple cider vinegar with your meals, and then also uh, the ultimate enzymes. All right, that's, that's, uh, that's the music, Marissa. I got to motivate. Thanks for your call. Appreciate okay. it. Thank and you. And thanks Appreciate for listening it. to... Thanks for, thank you, Marissa. And thanks for listening to The Bright Side. If you are in the Arizona, area. I would love to see you at our uh, next week. I'll be doing talks in the Phoenix area. Uh, I'll be in uh, Phoenix on Monday. I'll be in Gold Canyon on Tuesday and I'll be in uh, Sun City West on Wednesday. Hope to see you out there. Thanks for listening and have yourselves a beautiful, wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.